everyone. A very good day to all of you from around the world. My name is Ambassador Arikana Chihombori Kwao. I am the founder, president, and CEO of the African Diaspora Development Institute, ADDI, an entity that was designed to be the bridge between the African diaspora and the motherland, Africa. I'm coming to you today to discuss a very important subject. On August 14th, exactly 8.29 a.m. Haitian time, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake once again hit our beloved country of Haiti. As I sat back and listened and watched the news and the events unfolding, tears began to run down my face. I simply could not understand how this could happen again in Haiti. In 2010, at exactly 4.53 p.m. Haitian time, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake once again hit our beautiful country of Haiti. The country is still trying to recover from that earthquake. In between 2010 and August 14th, several hurricanes hit the same country. They're still trying to recover from one disaster after another. And an even stronger earthquake struck again, causing havoc and destruction to a people who have been destroyed for centuries. How much more can Haitians take? Why is it happening repeatedly to the poor country of Haiti? This is a moment that we all must stop and take inventory of who we are as a people. Our brothers and sisters are crying and calling for help. Are you listening? Children, babies are crying for help. Are you listening? Women are crying for help. Are you listening? It's a time that we must all stop and understand that a suffering black person anywhere is our problem. Take ownership of what is happening in Haiti. Suffering Haitians are my problem. They are your problem. They are all our problems. The international community has come together through NGOs, through governments. They're doing their part. What are we doing as the African diaspora? We have a responsibility to also unite and play our part. Because when it's all said and done, we should be the first ones to be up front and join our brothers and sisters in giving them the much needed help. This coming Sunday, September 5th, at 11 a.m. Eastern time, I'm calling on all of you, people of African descent and friends of Africa to come together and let's pull our financial resources together. Let's unite for the purposes of helping our brothers and sisters in Haiti. Not helping is not an option. Not doing something is not an option. We have a responsibility. If we're going to be serious about who we are as a people, this is one time that we must showcase our strength, our unity of purpose, something that we have failed to do for centuries, something we were designed to not accomplish for centuries. But this is 2021. It's a new day. We are going to own what is going on in Haiti because the suffering Haitian is my problem. A suffering Haitian is your problem. We must own our problems. Please join me on Sunday, September 5th, 11 a.m. Eastern time, as we come together to play our part in helping our brothers and sisters in Haiti. If a penny is what you have, then a penny is what you give. If time is what you have, then be prepared to go to Haiti, to fundraise, but not doing anything is not an option. If you want to contribute in advance, we have a Zelle account. You can visit ouraddi.org 
and slash Haiti. Our Zelle is finance at our ADDI. Venmo is also finance at our ADDI.org. And Cash App is dollar sign our ADDI, dollar sign O U R A D D I. You can start contributing now or you can join us on Sunday, September 5th at 11 a.m. I look forward to seeing all of you as we come together as a family to do something about what is going on in our family. Our brothers and sisters in Haiti need us. Our brothers and sisters in Haiti are calling for help. I hope you will answer that call. See you on Sunday, September 5th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time.